In this lesson, I'm going to talk more about component groups and events and how they work together. Let's talk about the chicken entity because that has events and component groups that are easy to talk about. So first of all, I'm going to have a look at the components section that defines how the chicken behaves normally. And we're going to take a look at the leashable component. So you could see here that the chicken is leashable. And when it is leashed or put on a lead, it will call the event on leash. And when the chicken is unleashed, it will call the event on unleash. So let's go down to the events. Remember, the events is the bottom section of the behavior file. And so we have here uh, events from egg. So that makes it a baby when it's uh, an egg that's being converted into a chicken. And we have when it's spawned, when it's born, when it grows up. And here at the bottom, we have when it's on leash, we're calling a component group called chicken leashed. And when it's unleashed, we're removing the component group chicken leashed. So you can see here, we're adding extra components when it's leashed, and we're removing those components when it's unleashed. So let's go up to the top and see what these different component groups contain. So now we're in the component groups section, and we're going through looking for the component groups that reference leashing. So here it is. This is the component group chicken leashed. And you can see it only has one behavior or one component that is added when it's leashed. So the, the behavior that's being added is called move towards restriction. It's making it a priority of two and the speed multiplier is one. So you can see when we put a chicken on a leash, the move towards restriction component is added to that chicken. That means that when we walk with the lead in our hands, the chicken is going to follow us or move with us. So wherever we go, the chicken will follow us on the lead because he has been given the attribute of moving with that restriction, which is the, the leash. And when we, re when we take them off the leash, then this attribute is removed from the chicken. So the chicken no longer moves towards the restriction. So that is how the events and the component groups work. Events could be triggered by a number of different things. They could be part of the way the entity is defined to behave. It could be based on player interaction. It could also be defined on some coding that you do inside the behavior file to control some changes in that entity. So that's a quick overview of how the events section and the component group sections work together to finalize the entity's overall behavior. Let's go explore some other entities' behaviors.